Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about one very important topic: how to build up a research aptitude. So you must be wondering why do we need to build research aptitude? Then what are the best resources to build up research aptitude? And finally, how much time do we need to build such a research aptitude? So these are the questions that would be answered in this video. So stay tuned till the end. Let's go to the first question. Why do we need to build up a research aptitude? The answer is simple. If you are thinking of a career in academia or you are aspiring to be a scientist, then research aptitude is important. You need to understand what is your long-term plan. Now, while we are preparing for exams, we always think of the exam as the top priority. But there are three parts of it. Cracking the entrance examination, you need to crack the interviews as well. Or lastly, you need to thrive in that research environment and ultimately do the research. So these is, is kind of like a three-step process. And the examination or cracking the examination is not the end part of it. It's just the beginning. And in this game, we are only thinking of examinations like these ones, but we are not thinking about our long-term goal. I think both are equally important. Now, you have to qualify these examinations to get your admission into a good place in India. And you can think of your PhD. Without these examinations, you can't do it. But at the same time, after qualifying this exam, you should have an inbuilt research aptitude which would help you to succeed in your career in the long term. So both are important. By the way, if you are preparing for any of these examinations, Unacademy could be really helpful. For example, if you are preparing for IIT Jam 2022, then there are several mock test series which are starting from 29th August 2021 and it's starting from 9 a.m. These mock tests are free of cost. Remember, these mock tests are free of cost. Detailed link and all the details would be provided in the description. You can click on that. You can use my code AP10 to unlock these examinations. Go for it. It's totally free of cost. It would give you a quick perspective. Where do you stand? So enroll now. An academy educators help you by analyzing trends from previous year questions and this makes your life easier. All you need to do is download the app, click on the link which is given in the description and you can use my code AP10 to get a free access. Okay, back to our business. Before that, let me tell you, you can also ask your friends about that. Now the financial aspect in Anacademy is taken care of, things are not so costly, so it would not burn a hole in your pocket. Okay, if we get back to our discussion, let me tell you that sometimes we focus more on short-term goals and we forget about our long-term goals. That means in long-term, we want to do research, we want to discover new things. So this is our long-term goal, maybe. And in order to achieve that, we need to build our research aptitude, research mindset from the first day. And we kind of forget that and focus too much on solving questions, MCQ, and getting good score in the examination. We need a balance between these two factors. Sometimes the reason is coming from our peers because there is a lot of peer pressure on you that you need to get good rank, my rank was so good. These kind of things doesn't allow you to focus much on the research aptitude building side, but you focus more on the rank side. You are running behind rank, not your research aptitude. Let's say your CSIR rank 1. That doesn't ensure you would be a very good researcher. So what really matters is focusing on the critical thinking ability. And in the interviews or in the long run, what scientists look in you is your thinking skills. How well you can think, how creative you are in terms of thinking, all these aspects. But here is the problem. How to think critically? So the simple answer is you start questioning everything and anything that you come across. That would give you that inquisitive mindset and it would help you to thrive 
long term. So now you understand there are two critical aspects to this. First, focusing on critical thinking versus obtaining good rank in an exam. A good balance between the two really push you towards the success. None of these things individually can lead you to success. Now, while you're building your research aptitude, it's always advisable that you discuss with your friends about your research idea because with discussion, brilliant ideas are born. But you might be thinking, I don't know how research is like, I don't know how it feels like, or I don't have any lab experience. So don't worry, it's completely okay not to have these experiences. But you can do thought experiments all the time, right? Now, let me tell you, in these days, there are a lot of ways you can obtain information, right? Information is accessible to everyone, thanks to the internet. But the problem is, how do you make sense of these tons and tons of information? And that's the skill you need to learn, you need to focus. How to use the information to get ideas out of it, how to be creative to dig up information and find important ideas from that. Now, let me tell you that mugging up information doesn't really help in the long run. So overall, you should focus more on building your aptitude than mugging up information. Here are three things that you should do to get a better scientific aptitude. First of all, start reading about research articles, research papers right now, because this would give you a perspective what's going on in the field. Second, watch online seminars and get inspired by the stories of real scientists, their work life and how they are pursuing a problem. Third point is interact with your professors or professors under whom you want to do a research. Honestly, while you interact with some someone about their work, they are ultra happy about these things. We don't do these kind of interactions because we think what they might have might have uh, think about ourselves, but it's the least concern. When you start breaking that barrier and start interacting with your professor, then what happens is the creative part. Like you can discuss about a particular research topic, you can write reviews with them. These are few ways which can help you to develop a research aptitude. And there is no time to begin it. You can start it as early as in your undergrads. But after all of these, let me tell you, you should always have a plan B. Things might not work the way we think. So you need to have a plan B and an escape route. I think this video was concise enough and useful. So if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Do let me know in the comment how you like my video or what kind of videos you want me to make. Don't forget to leave your suggestion. Your suggestion is really important to improve our content. Thank you.